So the question is, what are you going to use compensation as? Is it a large process that really doesn't change and doesn't move throughout the year? Or can you use it as more as a tool that will help you affect your organization throughout the course of the year as things change? So let's take a look at an example of the course of a year. What changes? Well, stock market's a good example, isn't it? It changes throughout the course of the year. We've got peaks and valleys, ebbs and flows. The question is, when you make a decision at one of these inflection points, how does that affect things? You have to be flexible, because if you think the market's going up, and then you make the wrong decision at an inflection point, it can be horrible for your business, isn't that right? So let's take a look at how this would affect. Well, what are you trying to do with compensation? Well, things like compensation, performance, pay for performance, they're all tied in. And the goal here is to retain your best, reward them properly, and react effectively to what's happening in your organization and in the greater scope of the world. Let's give you some examples. So you've got things like your system of record. It's constantly changing. People are moving. You've got transfers and things of that nature. So you have to get that information, and that's a change. You've got the market, things we looked at just a moment ago. You've got strategy. So your business strategy could change. Maybe you've got a brand new product line you're bringing on, a new office you're opening, maybe something that's a little bit more negative. Anyway, you have to adjust to it. You've got transfers, terminations, and promotions. All of these things change, and you have to react properly. How can you utilize that change, react properly, and drive your business forward? So let's take a look at the course of a year. Some examples that you might make you affect your compensation. So, We've got January, we've done our focal planning, so we've made all our decisions, we've given out all our raises, we've given out some bonuses, and we've locked things down for the year. But, maybe at the end of February, we have some market instability. We've had plans, we've put away some money that we're gonna get bonuses throughout the course of the year for retention or things of that nature, but suddenly the market's gone down. We're not getting as many orders as we used to. So, hmm, maybe we need to tighten our belt a little bit. So that's an inflection point. That's where we need to make a change. Then, in April, suddenly, after we've tightened our belt and we've canceled all our bonuses and everything is just locked down, suddenly a little startup starts coming after your top performers. They're saying, we want you to come work for us. We've got a greener pastor. We've got some great stuff for you. And they come in and say, wow, you know, I haven't gotten a raise in a while. Maybe we want to open up the coffers a little bit and give some retention bonuses. It's an inflection point. Then we take a look at, well, end of June, well, we need to do a budget reduction because the things still aren't going well in our second quarter. So, again, inflection point. And lastly, in the end of September, maybe we have a great quarter. And maybe we want to say, you know, all these people that have stuck with us over the course of this time, we want to start giving out some thank yous. Again, an inflection point throughout the course of the year. If you do not have a process that enables you to make changes throughout the course of the year and control those changes, you will not be able to react quickly to the business drivers that are forcing your business in different directions. So what does that mean? I want to set up a process that enables organizations to manage their compensation year-round, to react to all the changes, whether they're internal or external, yet to maintain control. Because when I say react to change, the first thing that might come into your mind is, well, if we react to everything, how do we maintain control of what's going on? Well, if you put it in a solid process and maybe some technology to back it up, this technology is something that never sleeps, and it's handy. People running processes can sometimes do it incorrectly. If it's automated, you get a defined process. Very, very helpful. Let me give you an example of an organization that tried but didn't do it well.